Should the US ban lobbying? Lobbying no. Lobbying with money involved yes. When you contact your congressman to tell him which issues are important to you, that's lobbying. Trade groups, for example lemon growers in my county, have representatives lobbyists who tell congressmen which issues affect their business. These kinds of lobbying shouldn't be abridged. If there's dishonesty or bribery involved, eliminate the dishonesty. Eliminating lobbying just disconnects the politician from his constituency. Lobbying in a general sense is good. This boils down to you calling your congressperson and asking them to support a specific issue. Now lobbying involving money? Yes. That's what you're thinking of in the sense of evil because yeah, a bunch of people calling their congressperson might make a difference for what they make a big point of. But big companies enjoy giving large sums of money to these people and those people in turn fight for the company's best interest, even if it colludes with their contestants' interests. No lobbying is protected by freedom of speech it's literally just talking to people in power to try to get them to do what you want. Lobbying is not a thing that can just be generalized as evil. There's a lobby group called the American Kratom Association that lobbies for keeping Kratom legal in America. They aren't controlled by the Kratom industry, they're just people who with the help of Kratom have been able to sustainably manage pain and kick opioid habits. Thanks to their lobbying, the feds and many states declined to criminalize Kratom, which is something I take every day to maintain my mental health. Without that lobby, every time a dipshit ignorant ass sheriff from the sticks falsely alleged Kratom to be the same as fentanyl which is pretty much every day, no one would be there to contradict the lies, Kratom would be illegal all over the US, and hundreds of thousands of lives would be ruined. Now on the other hand, the fossil fuel lobby, big tobacco, big alcohol, religious nuts there's no shortage of evil lobbyists, but lobbying isn't intrinsically evil. Lobbying is not always corruption. And even if it was, if we banned it then lawmakers would just come up with some alternative method of corruption under a different name. The same people who write these laws are the ones who benefit from breaking them. It should not include any money and should have to be done in public hearings. They should also close all the loopholes to the gift-giving rules and tighten up the laws on foreign agents' ability to lobby. It seems like most of the rules in the law have a ton of exceptions. While this is not extremely detailed this is a start if you want to understand what kind of rules exist in a sort of dumbed down publication. https colon rl31126.pdf Lobbying needs to be regulated. It's not something that should be allowed to exist in the shadows. However, it needs to exist as the benefits to society when it is done right are massive. Clear violation of First Amendment would be struck down in a heartbeat. The problem isn't lobbying on the hill, it's when politicians go to the lobbyists on free expensive trips from the lobbyists. Lobbying outside a public office should be illegal to some extent. Or at least it has to take place in a designated space of business, not at an all-expenses paid trip to the Bahamas or some shit like that. Banning lobbying seems like a good idea, until you remember that your average member of Congress went to law school, then into politics, and has very little experience outside of government, or even academic fields outside humanities. Regulating things like nuclear power generation or securities laws is complicated. Politicians can't do it without consulting experts, who unfortunately usually work in the private sector where the pay is better. You sort of have to pick your poison. Without lobbyists who would write the bills. With a two-year term representatives are in constant fundraising and campaign mode. Their hard-working chief of staff are only making 60 an hour and are busy scheduling appointments and banking transactions of 5,500 each. Lobbying is just talking to politicians, they need to remove the money aspect of it. There should be more rules and limits, definitely. Same for campaign contributions. Lobbying, like many things has its perfectly valid reasons for existing. Unfortunately like many other things in politics, it's been turned into just another way to slush fund money into pockets. Term limits are the solution to many of these things you rotate the people getting paid often enough then people don't get bought and paid for so easily or for as long. Your run-of-the-mill Congress person today is an idiot with excellent social skills. Lobbyist, in addition to providing excellent retirements and perks for congressmen and judges, supply the technical expertise that legislators don't have and write the bills that get submitted in the Senate and in the House. The entire system is created to serve corporations. From a legal standpoint you're talking about violating someone's First Amendment rights. I don't really have a problem with lobbying. It's just a guy being paid to try to convince a lawmaker to agree with them. Even charities and nonprofits lobby. I do have issues with lawmakers becoming lobbyists. If a lawmaker is favorable to a corporation and then get hired by them, that's quid pro quo right there. Lobbying is not bribery. There are clearly defined rules on gifts 
and travel expenses and entertainment are gifts, the job afterwards is the real source of corruption. Yes. I hate banning stuff. Never really works, just builds prisons, hires cops, authorizes judges, feeds lawyers, pauses, and reflects I'm sort of worried that people won't understand that I think that's all bad stuff shrugs so, I don't think we should ban lobbying, I think we should allow tar and feathering or perhaps writing a railing. Read twing such methods are a profound corruption deterrent.